Can you hear? Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our morning Hanukkah. To start off, let's offer a greeting, a bow to our heavenly parents and true parents. 존진 참부모님께 겸배 바로 Now we read family pledge number four. 사, 전일국 주인 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님의 잔조 이상인 존주대 존주대 가족을 형성하여 자유와 평화와 통일과 행복의 세계를 완성할 것을 맨세 하나이다. 사, 4. Our family, the owner of Chonaguk, pledges to build the universal family, encompassing heaven and earth, which is the heavenly parent's ideal of creation, and perfect the world of freedom, peace, unity, and happiness by centering on true love. And now for opening prayer, can I ask uh, Dr. Thomas Ward? Yes, uh, good morning, Resfred. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let's uh, pray together. Most loving Heavenly Parent, we come before you on this day. It has been a whirlwind of activity the last few days, our dear parent, with the change of leadership here, with the departure of Dr. Yong, with uh, uh, the appeal for all of us to to travel to the Chung uh, Chim Wan in Las Vegas and to hear your voice and your call and your expectation for each and every one of us. Heavenly Parent, we come before you on this new day, and we ask that you will imbue each of us with the wisdom, with the simplicity, and with the heart that we can be able to hear your voice, not just in prayer, but also through our central figures, through our brothers and sisters whom we engage with each day through our spouses, our children, our elders. We ask our dearest heavenly parent that this can be a great moment of renewal, of reawakening, and of furthering sovereignty here in this nation of America and in Korea, which is the founding point for Chan Il Guk. We pray and ask our dearest Heavenly Parent that you will guide each and every one of us, that we can take all of the experiences that we have had over the past uh, two and a half years or so, and somehow be able to leverage them to move to a different level and to assist you in transforming this nation and this world into what you need it to be, our dear parent, in order to be able to establish Chanilguk and finally liberate yourself, liberate humanity, and reestablish human dignity. We thank you again for this chance to come before you on this day, and we ask that you will bless this morning devotion that we share together. I want to report all these things now, our loving Heavenly Parent, upholding the names of our true parents, in the names of Thomas and Alexa Ward, and the names of all those present here, adieu. Adieu, adieu. Thank you, Dr. Ward. And thank you all for joining. Um, now we're gonna go into our gratitude sharing. So just take a moment, take a moment to think about what you are grateful for. What are you grateful for this morning is the question. Share with whoever you're paired up with then. We'll be back here to hear one sharing. We'll see you all soon. That was nice.
Welcome back, everyone. Hope you had a wonderful sharing. Uh, yes, I was in the breakout room with the Tamax and Noriko Sprague. Noriko Sprague was still sharing. So Noriko-san, if you could please just unmute and continue your gratitude sharing. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um. Yes, I was hearing actually the other couple to uh, about the gathering at the airport when uh, Dr. Young was uh, leaving to Australia, and I was even I uh, hearing from uh, Noriko Teneple who are there. It's such a touch, you know, experience, and I was so inspired. But yeah, anyway, we had yesterday at the Clifton Family Church. Um, now is a tradition that the um, uh, uh, family who lost, uh, who already ascended, uh, they gather in the Memorial Day and uh, we have a little uh, service and uh, uh, having a meal together and talk about it, talk, you know, to um, uh, remind and uh, uh, really share each other. So I was uh, cooking <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> So, um, although I, you know, my family, my direct family, I didn't lose anybody yet uh, to uh, to heaven, but it's such a beautiful tradition, and uh, uh, all the members of the family uh, share, and uh, the sense of the supporting each other. Uh, so uh, that was uh, such a beautiful and uh, moving. And uh, and then get the chance. Some people are, you know, became just uh, by themselves now because spouse is already went. So it was such a precious uh, and a moving uh, time, and so grateful that moment of the um, Memorial Day. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, Noriko-san. Thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, next, I'd like to invite up uh, Eric and Arena and Tamak to share their gratitudes as well. Yes, uh, good morning, brother and sister. Yes, uh, yesterday was a special day because yesterday we uh, went to the airport to say goodbye to Dr. Young. Yes, yesterday started, yesterday we, uh, at four o'clock in the morning, actually, we got a text message from uh, Sister Esther Batimo. She was telling us that she's going to go to the airport, you want to go? And we were like, okay, why not, we, we can go. So they came and picked us up and then we went to the airport. We, was all, we were already at the airport at, uh, uh, 8.30, when Dr. Young was not even still, didn't leave yet, the uh, uh, New Yorker uh, was still there. So it was quite an amazing uh, moment because to me, particularly to me, because yesterday was my birthday and to me it was like really a uh, way of celebrating my birthday with Dr. Young. Of course, I didn't tell him because I was so, it was so, I was so emotional and I didn't want to cry. It was amazing how, you know, um, you know, uh, I could not understand how Dr. Young in a situation like this one couldn't really hold his tears, like he couldn't cry, you know, because me, I literally could share some tears, you know. So we say goodbye to Dr. Young. We so, took so many pictures, videos. We uh, we follow him everywhere. Even the secretary was after us telling us, no, we gotta go, we have to go. But uh, when they give us a second, like nobody watching us, we, we just go after him. We follow him all the way to the immigration uh, security. Dr. Young telling her, go, go, teach on sound like this, saying, go, 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 go. We are like, yes, yes, bye, 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 bye. Nobody was going nowhere. It was quite an amazing moment, an amazing moment, an emotional moment too, you know, and um, somebody called Dr. Young and the security pick up his phone. Dr. Young forgot his phone at the security. And uh, we all panic, start panicking here, like, oh my God, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna look for Dr. Young, you know, he, he forgot his cell phone. Then I was like, Dr. Young has two hours before he gets the plane leave. Two hours, I don't see him sitting there for two hours, not looking for his cell phone. I'm sure he's gonna find that, realize that his cell phone is missing and he's gonna, he's gonna look for it. So finally we heard that he got his cell phone and it was, um, we were all relieved, you know, we we're so happy. Really, that was quite an, um, a special moment. And um, the amazing thing is that Dr. Young really uh, noticed that we're 12, 12 of us. So he said, he counted, he said, 12 people, 12 people, 12 disciples, you know. That was, um, 
I don't know what to say. It was just something that to live, to experience, really. It was uh, very, very emotional to say goodbye to Dr. Young, really. So emotional. So I'm so grateful that um, it was my birthday and I could really, really uh, you know, leave that moment with that moment with Dr. Young. You know, really grateful about that. Yes, uh, morning, brothers and sisters. Yes, uh, to all was an emotional moment and I was just grateful to be there to see Dr. Yang off as he has been an amazing leader. So it was a good moment. Yeah, we are four couples and then other single members. So I was very, very grateful. Yes, thank you. Thank you, and Tamax. Yeah, thank you for seeing Dr. Young off. I'm sure it meant so much. Um, to him. All right, brothers and sisters, we're going to go on to our main our message today. And one, this is Mother of Peace, episode five on Godable. So let's open up our hearts and minds to receive from our beloved true mother. Welcome to Mother of Peace, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. A memoir by Hak Jahan Moon, a production of the Washington Times Global Media Group, narrated by Alison Hiroto. The oceans are a treasured resource. In every era of recorded history, humanity has experienced incredible pain. The most tragic period was also the most recent, the 20th century. Wars raged ceaselessly across the global village, and countless good people lost their lives in that savagery. I was born during the Japanese occupation of Korea, and I experienced the aftermath of World War II and the Korean War. I still cannot forget the terrible things I witnessed as a small child. Those times have passed, and now we are waging war against a complex enemy, the temptation to forget our responsibilities to our families and the natural environment, and seek only personal comfort and convenience. Fortunately, we have a deep moral sense and wisdom and practical methods by which we can work together to achieve God's ideal. All people hope that we can recover and sustain the oceans as the heavenly parent created them. Covering 70% of the earth, the oceans contain immense resources. Like hidden treasures, they hold solutions for the dilemmas confronting the human race. I have emphasized the importance of the ocean on many occasions and have, together with my husband, suggested various approaches we might take. Accordingly, the ocean was chosen as the theme for the first Sunhuk Peace Prize. The Peace Prize Committee oversaw a strict process to select righteous, achievement-oriented leaders in this arena. Those selected as our laureates that year were Dr. M. Vijay Gupta of India and President Anot Tong of Kiribati, a small island nation in the South Pacific. Dr. Gupta is a scientist who, concerned over persistent food shortages, led the Blue Revolution by developing fish farming technologies. He greatly contributed to relieving hunger among the poor by widely distributing these technologies in Southeast Asia and Africa. President Anot Tong is a leading global advocate for the intelligent preservation and management of the marine ecosystem. It is predicted that much of his nation of Kiribati could be submerged in less than 30 years due to the rising sea level. In the face of such a crisis, President Tong took the lead toward protecting the ecosystem by creating the largest protected marine park in the world. For decades, my husband and I took on the task of ensuring that humanity moves into a future assured of abundant food supplies and pleasant, healthy environments. We advocated the free exchange of technology across national borders and shared our vision that the oceans are a gift from God and the ultimate source of the world's nutrition. Stable food sources and pure air, land, and water are essential to world peace 
and the salvation of humankind. Not confining ourselves to theoretical explanations, we devoted significant resources to practical projects in the real world. For half a century, Latin America was a major site for this investment of true love and human resources. In the mid-1990s, with serious hearts, Father Moon and I traveled to the Pantanal region. The Pantanal is a vast wetland straddling the borders of Paraguay and Brazil. It is located precisely on the opposite side of the globe from our home country. There, we worked hand-in-hand hand with farmers and fishermen. Putting an end to food shortages begins by getting your hands dirty. Rather than give sermons from an air-conditioned pulpit, we worked under the scorching sun, neglecting to eat or rest. I vividly remember pondering environmental issues as I wiped beads of sweat from my face. We launched various initiatives in the Pantanal region, and we have carried out countless other projects for the sake of humankind over the past 60 years. My nature compels me to give everything I have for the happiness of others, with no desire for recognition. I know who I am, the true mother, the mother of peace and God's only begotten daughter, and my mission is to live this way. To end Heavenly Parents' sorrow, I have dried the tears of strangers in need, considering this to be connected through threads of fate to the salvation of humanity. Everyday Heroes The end of winter can be bitterly cold, but no matter how cold it is, when spring comes and its warmth envelops the earth, we quickly forget that there ever was a winter. The bitter cold of humanity's winter is receding, and as Heavenly Parents' warmth envelops the earth, it will be forgotten. We feel this warmth at our Sunhawk Peace Prize events, such as its second biannual convention that took place in Seoul on February 3, 2017. That very busy day began by my personally welcoming hundreds of guests. These men and women hailed from 80 countries, representing various races, speaking many languages and following different paths of faith. I tried to create an environment in which everyone would freely greet the strangers around them and quickly become friends. The warmth of spring was a setting in which I reminded my guests that many people in the world are friendless and hungry. Many families have been driven from their homelands. As a child refugee myself, I know there are no words to express the misery of being forced to flee one's home due to the devastation of war. The Sunhuk Peace Prize is an initiative through which I can issue the call for solutions to the painful plight of refugees and prevent livelihoods from being destroyed. I look for righteous but unheralded pioneers of peace, honor them, and strongly encourage them. The second set of Sunhawk Peace Prizes, presented in 2017, went to two such people, Dr. Sakina Yakubi and Dr. Gino Strada do not look like celebrities. They look like everyday people. A gentlemanly middle-aged European with ruffled hair is a gifted surgeon and founder of an international medical relief organization. Dr. Gino Strada from Italy is a surgeon and humanitarian whose work over the past 28 years provided emergency medical care for more than 9 million refugees and victims of war in the Middle East and Africa. A motherly woman with a sun-weathered face framed by a black hijab has brought thousands of young women hope. Dr. Sakina Yakubi of Afghanistan is an educator, referred to as the Afghan Mother of Education. She has worked in Afghan refugee camps for more than 20 years, helping refugees and displaced people resettle. She has risked her life to teach, encouraging people to hope for a better tomorrow, even in the face of enormous obstacles. In response to her award, Dr. Yakubi wrote to me in her clear handwriting, expressing her heartfelt gratitude. It is really, really wonderful, 
The award itself is really big. It's comparable to the Nobel Peace Prize. My life is in danger all the time. In the morning I get up. In the evening, I don't know whether I will be alive or dead. Knowing that somebody values you and your work helps a lot. Also, I want to say to Mother Hak Jahan Moon that I am really thankful to her because she gives me credit for what I do. It means a lot to me. Korea is a country that I admire because you have been to war. You have suffered, but with your determination, hard work, sincerity, and wisdom, you have accomplished a lot in a really short time. I hope and pray that someday my country can use your country as a role model. Putting her own life in danger, Dr. Yakubi continues to fight for women and children. While we are comfortably at home, eating warm meals, many are being driven from their homes. Uprooted, they live in pain and anguish, their lives completely shattered. This is the time to bring this sad tragedy to an end. Thank you for listening to Godable. Visit motherofpeacebook.com to purchase the complete audiobook. Godable is made possible by listeners like you. To donate, visit godable.org. Thank you. All right. So that's our, yeah, our hundok for today. And currently now Kimi's at the airport, but he's still here and still willing to share. So now Kimi, you have the floor. Hey, good morning, brothers and sisters. Um, <clears throat> apologize ahead of time for the uh, noise in the background. I try to find a quiet corner, but it's really hard to find one in the airport. Um, but yes, I am on the way to Las Vegas. Uh, Damien had asked me and a few others to join him uh, for a couple of days, and then a larger group of leaders uh, kind of coming uh, a few days later. Uh, in terms of reflection from this morning's reading, I think um, yeah, some things that stood out to me. The first is really uh, Mother's emphasis on uh, the natural world, and I think it's kind of interesting that you know, as the mother of peace, uh, you know, also Earth is known as kind of the mother Earth, and I feel like there is a special connection uh, between mother and uh, really taking care of the. Uh, environment and our natural resources. So for her to really emphasize the importance of the ocean and uh, for the sake of humanity, um, it, it's kind of fitting. It feels really fit, fitting for her um, to, to really emphasize this point. And not just like sharing theologically or spiritually the value of it, but really emphasizing even practically um, by uh, with real substance. I mean, the, the, she initiated the Sun Hawk Peace Prize. And the first one was dedicated to really this theme of the ocean. Um, and, you know, many prizes, like even Nobel Peace Prize, it's like the advancement of science and technology and different things like that. But uh, yeah, she's really using the Sun Hawk Peace Prize to emphasize the importance of, of people who really. Uh, care for others, um, you know, at the risk of their lives. Um, and also those who really are doing the work that she feels is contributing to uh, God's providence uh, for the broader public. So, yeah, it's not just talk, it's just not the, the theology, but it's really in substance. She's really um, promoting and supporting these kind of initiatives. Um, the other thought that came across when I was listening was, you know, I really sense a, a, this strong uh, unity between father and mother and, and heart. And it's not just, again, in concept, but like, I feel like, and she's even stated this directly to me. I remember her saying um, that her, her mission is really to kind of complete uh, everything that father envisioned. And even this uh, Sanha Peace Prize and this emphasis on the ocean, 
to me really shows this heart of devotion that mother has to father's vision and the things that he talked about also she is really helping to uh, bring to fruition so i uh, just appreciate um mother uh, for her yeah really devotion to to father's vision and the heavenly parents uh, vision as well uh and yeah I, I came up again this time but you know she stated very clearly i know who i am and i, I just uh yeah, amazed at her sense of just confidence and peace in knowing who she is and uh, how how important it is that she she's uh proclaiming her identity at this time so that's what i have for today thank you everyone for listening and thank you for joining thank you now kimi now we're going to go into our breakouts now so just take a moment to think about everything that was said from today's uh, window k share anything that comes up for you see you all in about six minutes
Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Hope you had a wonderful sharing. I was in a full house, a full house. They all had each very short sharing, so I'll call them, them one by one. Let's start with Carolyn Hansen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Um, uh, my sharing was that True Mother is in a whole different realm artistically, I feel I was saying, you know, True Mother never sat around like we women do. We sit around, we gossip, we talk about things sometimes that are, they don't have much meaning, but True Mother it's just in a whole other realm of heart where she can embrace and think about the world um, always. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, Aunt Sorry. Caroline. Sorry. True Mother's uh, childhood, right? Immediately she became the True Mother at 17 and, and that's her life since. Um, next, I'd like to call on Andrea, Andrea Thame. <laughs> Yes, good morning. It's nice to be in a full room. Um, <laughs> I also realized that from the breakout rooms, we gained that, you know, extra kind of being able to do up on the words and uh, perspectives from different brothers and sisters. It's kind of like what Dr. Young was giving us. So it's really nice to gain that from, from brothers and sisters. Uh, for me, I gained that from listening to you, <laughs> uh, Russ Fred. So thank you. I was just talking about... Um, you know, how your mother being a refugee uh, was just another uh, refugee child, just another aspect of her, her life that, you know, helps her to kind of understand the, the situations of different people around the world. You know, she experienced so much in her life that she can connect in a deep level with, uh, with the, the circumstances of uh, people all around the world. Uh, I really appreciate that about your mother. Um, and also the fact that your parents spoke so much about ocean and the possibilities in the ocean, uh, of the ocean, you know, especially in ending uh, world hunger. Um, that's something that we don't hear much from uh, other, other organizations. So I'm really uh, grateful to your parents for that. Yeah, so that's what stood out to me. Thank you. Thank you, Ana Andrea. And finally, I'd like to call on Stoyan Tadden, Stoyan Tadden, to share with us his reflection as well. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be with you in the uh, breakout room. Uh, um, I basically share that uh, it's important that we continue this journey to get to the next level of understanding. And um, uh, one of the reasons why I so appreciated the one of the Russian time is that I felt it took um, the understanding that we had and it was an effort to take it to the next level. Because if we can be inspired at the next level of understanding, then the people around us, the people that we witness to, the people that we share with, can be taken to the next level. We can't take people to the next level without first going ourselves. It's, it's a leadership role. And so it's imperative that we take steps daily to get to the next level of our understanding, the next level of our heart, of our ability to love. And in this way, help America, which really represents the new world, uh, get to the next level. So it's my hope that this uh, journey will continue. And I understand the need for, let's say, structural entities. You know, you go to school, you begin with uh, you know, kindergarten and grade one where teacher writes on the board and you copy and repeat uh, you know, the nursery rhymes and repetitions and so forth, which is fine to start with. And the people that we meet, they need that structural component. So we need to provide that. Godable is a beautiful example of that. It offers a structural presentation of True Mother's words, but we need to take that to the next level so that we can be people who bring those words to life, who bring that love to life. And by doing that, we can be the people around us, America in particular, the next level. So it's my hope that everyone who has participated on One Devotion will continue to make that effort in a collective and personal way so that we can help achieve 
um, confidential goal. Um, and we, the goal is very simply this, um, to discover more fully the mind and the heart of God. Because the mind of God, there is no problem that cannot be solved. And there is no person who cannot be loved with the heart of God. And I think that's, that's our challenge in a nutshell. And so my hope is that we will continue in that journey and help uh, take America to the next level. God bless you. Thank you for the efforts that you're making still today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Stoyan. Yes, let's bring the word to life. And for announcements, there are no announcements. We're going to be in uh, Las Vegas this now Kimi is heading there. I'll be heading there this Thursday. So Yasu, but we'll continue more in devotion. So don't worry. Um, <laughs> it'll continue on. So um, with that, if there's anything else, we will let you know maybe by email, but also tomorrow morning. But let's go on to our closing prayer. Can I ask? Um, let's see. Dominic Barber, do you mind closing us out in prayer? Okay, um, let's pray together. Our beloved Heavenly Parent, we thank you for our true mother bringing us such an amazing vision of things that maybe while true father was leading providence, we didn't uh, pay so much attention to but our true mother is opening the world of heart even bigger and wider and deeper than ever before and um, we realize that if we unite with her if we strive every moment to live in this world of heart that she is growing then we can definitely begin to bring about healing in this world and change that is necessary we're so sorry to you, the parent, that there is still war going on. There are still so many, many people struggling bitterly to survive and that they cannot even begin to think of living for the sake of others and spiritual things. Because every moment they are wondering if they can live throughout this day. Heavenly Parent, we wish to take care of all the people of the world. We wish to bring them all the opportunity to discover true parents, and to discover the way to change their blood lineage, and bring about a healing in this world that can, that can uh, <clears throat> transform the world, and end all war, all suffering, all starvation, all crime, and all the bitterness that lies in people's hearts. Thank you, Heavenly Parent, for inspiring us today with this great vision and, uh, and to feel that tender, loving heart of our true mother in her words. So we pray for your guidance this morning and for you to be with us during this day. Thank you. I report this in my name, Dr. Barber, and in all our names, the Central Families, uh, Jew. Aju, uh, thank you, thank you, Uncle Dominic, for closing us out. So that about wraps up today's uh, morning hundoke. Today represents day four of creation. So that's the sun, the moon, and the stars. So just take a moment to appreciate that today. Thank you all for having for joining us. See you all tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs> have a blessed day. Bye. Have a good day. Thank you. 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 Thank you.